Are any of you NCIS fans out there? Are you? Oh, you are an NCIS. I watch NCIS. Fan? Oh, so you love you some Gibbs? I do. Ooh, I, I do. love me some Gibbs, Mark Herman. Um, so Gibbs has this thing. If you're not a if you're not a fan of NCIS, um, if you are, you'll know immediately. He says never apologize because um, apologies are a sign of weakness. Oh. And only once or something in that series, I've heard him say something about apologizing that was an okay thing. I, you were just shaking your nose, uh, your, your head. What was that? Not your nose. Shaking my nose, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, what, were, what was that? What was that? No, I don't believe that apologies are a sign of weakness. Neither do I. Um, apologies, are, I feel, are really powerful in a lot of different ways. Number one, if you need to apologize, you just need to do it. If you did something wrong, um, own it and apologize for it and be done with it. Um, but also there's ways to use an apology um, to diffuse a situation That's that right. is really extremely explosive. That's right. You're in a situation where you and the other party are just locking horns. And sometimes you need to apologize, I think, to be the bigger person. And the apology is not so much, oh, I caused it, I'm sorry. It's more, I'm so sorry we came to this point. Let's move beyond it. And to say I'm sorry is the, the ticket to the road to move beyond it sometimes. And it is so... Oh, what I hear you describing is sometimes where you have to put your ego aside and not you're right, I'm wrong, or, or vice versa, but just saying, you know what, for the sake of the relationship, this is not worth it. I'm sorry we came to this point. How about also being sorry for another person's situation? How about I didn't cause it, I can't fix it, but gosh, I'm sorry you're hurting like this. You know, that makes me think of both of us were, were principals um, in, in, in different venues, but we both dealt with parents and children That's right. a lot. And so if a parent came in with a, legi a legitimate issue and we had messed something up, I was a firm believer in owning it, apologizing for it, and fixing it. If it was not a situation where we really did something wrong, however, the parent or the child felt like it was wrong or they had been wrong or you know they were really upset about the situation, there was always that moment where you could say, you know what, I'm really sorry for how you're feeling or I'm really sorry that this has impacted you or, this way. Or you perceived it to be this or way. Or that you I'm perceived it. I'm sorry for that too. Right, and that instantaneously diffused parents. That's right. Yeah. I, I don't see anything wrong with saying you're sorry. I'm not owning it. I didn't cause all the problems of the world, but gosh, I'm sorry at all the problems in our world right now. I'm sorry about that. If I could do something to fix them, I would. Um, but I would say to, to world leaders, if they were sitting here, I am so sorry that we reached this point. That's not weakness. And I'm going to say to Gibbs, you're pretty strong, and we're pretty strong, but I'm willing to apologize. What about you? Yeah. We'll see Go you soon. Go for it. Bye. Bye.